Well, hello and welcome back here to Arcadia. Haven't been here in a little while. Well, I have. I just haven't recorded anything. The reason was, after the last build, I was so bereft of any resources whatsoever that I decided it was time for me to start going, looking around and just building up some bits and pieces. So I've, I've, one, I've been on, I've been mining and uh, I've been to the nether and picked up some quartz, which we're going to use today. And, oh, would you look at that? Somebody's doing a big build. I won't go over and look at it closely just yet until I find out it's been finished. But that looks very impressive, doesn't it? But anyway, I, can you hear that? Can you hear that? I get the feeling that uh, the little prank that was played upon me was not just um, the statue as good as it was. I get the feeling, yeah. I get the feeling we have some friends in there. The question is, should I leave them in there or should I let them go? I think I'm going to let them go free. So I'll leave that hole open there and they can fly free, my pretties. Fly free. But, oh dear, somebody's going to have to pay for that. Somebody's going to have to pay for that. We all know who. But it will be subtle and it will be done off camera. And uh, I won't show you until... Well, you know who notices. Right, so I want to go travelling for a little bit. And before I do so, there's a few jobs I want to finish. One is this room. One is my bedroom here. And one is... I want to do the last shop I promised, which is going to be clucking good chicken. That unlike the one on the Iris server, this one's not going to cook its own chicken. Because Whipstitch is running a farm, I'm going to subcontract all the, the raw chickens off of her and build something that will just cook the chickens for me. And the location is going to be here, and we're going to do a build in just a minute. But first, I want to show you a couple of bits and pieces around this area that have changed since the last time I was on. This building is coming together very nicely. It's looking very pretty. Um, I think there's some subtle hints here. Danger, high magical radiation in building site. Warning, active thorming, thormic building site. Warning, active building site. PPE must be worn. Built by Wizard Construction Limited. Coming soon, a 4040 project. Enchanting store. Sponsored by the Unseen University. Sponsored dry dried frog pills. Something that I could, in all honesty, use a bit of. Uh -huh. So, I changed the prices in mobs bits. And I must admit, I'm quite happy with that sign now there. I think that looks just right. And yeah, everything everything inside here is the same. We sold a few bits and pieces. I have just changed the prices to two sand and items. So if you want a stack of rotten flesh, you pay me two stack of sand. It's as simple as that. Hello, people. Hello. Nice to see you all. Wonderful skin there, sir. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful skin. All right, Mons says hello to your fans. wonderful skins are and I don't know if you, well if you guys don't follow mod yes my point if you guys don't follow mod um, you would know you will not know and you should follow mod and uh, watch his videos because he's an excellent youtuber you would know that he has um, been running for a long time uh, a, a charity Euro truck simulator series where he drives his his truck Matilda around and just basically does jobs and talks to people it's a bit of a blog and it's all about the uh, charity it's a, it's a, it's not child's play as most people do which is yeah you know, I, I gotta be honest I'm, I'm pleased to see this this the charity is actually for um, support of teenage children, uh, teenagers with depression, which 
Um, anyone who has suffered from depression knows just how crippling that can be. So uh, I, I feel that uh, it's, it's an absolutely excellent challenge, but uh, I mod does challenges from time to time, and uh, one of them was, was, was him driving with a particular camera angle, if he could do it without having an accident for so-and-so. Um, well, he failed. I can't remember what was going to happen if he didn't fail, but he failed. And the price he paid for failing was wearing that pink skin and thinking of things that are hideous. Would you look at this? Uh, this is Trazer's yeah, um, Wall Emporium Mark II, the first one he made out of wool, I think. And then um, Drazer likes his lava, and lava and wool doesn't really mix. So, as you might expect, it burned down. But he's rebuilt it. He's rebuilt it in stone. He's got his lava in there and there's all sorts of wood, wood in here which is certainly i'm going to be shopping here i should imagine because i am far too lazy to go shearing lots and lots of wool so um let's see if i can get that closed why can't i get it closed there we go right and finally here this is a modern murtai production hilltop post office and this is a nice little nice little job here okay um, these walls above the uh, the entrance here um, indicate that there's something in your mailbox mine is the dark green one over here so there's something waiting for me so we go in here wonderful wonderful floor I do like this that's making my eyes water a tiny bit I, I think it's great um, pumpkin lighting uh, lighting and is my my mailbox, so Dr. Tort is purple, nobody's claimed the pink yet, I think it should be mods. Uh, who else has changed? Uh, claimed one. Whip has, Lock has, DF, mod, Draza, Murtai, Sina, Mike, Squiznuts, Squiznuts with his, his, his posh sign, he has to be better than everyone who does, he has to be better. Uh, there's a bin and there's another bin there's been another bin okay right so who's left me stuff in here right user manual by mod 1982 so let's have a quick look here hilltop post office user manual how to guide for beginners and experts welcome to hilltop post office by finding this guide you're already part way through the tutorial process as this will be in your inbox ready and waiting for you part one the mailbox system part two placing items part three collecting items part four frequently asked questions part five credits Part 1. The Mailbox System. Hilltop Post Office uses the latest in redstone technology, and this particular concept comes from the brilliant mind of Maroka, and is an effective replica of his design. Maroka is an excellent Minecrafter and does a lot of independent games, and well worth following. If I remember, I will put the link in the description. The system has two methods of announcing to you, the user, if you have mail. The first and most obvious is the external visual aid, which indicates from a distance that you have mail from a distance. Okay. Um, Department of Redundancy Department. Okay. The second is a fail safe and is a light next to the mailbox. Just placing an item in the chest activates both systems and removing an item deactivates them. That should be removing all items deactivates them. Working in tandem, you should receive all mails safe and sound. Placing items. Take your items. Walk to the post office. Look for your recipient's mailbox. Place items in his chest. Chest, the light comes on. Walk away. Collecting items. Look on the roof of the post office. If you have mail, a colored block will appear. If you have no mail, carry on. If you do, step two. Find your mailbox. Open mailbox. Take item. The light will turn off and the external alert system deactivate once the chest is empty. How much does this system cost to use? Bugger all. Is my mailbox is broken? Help. See mod. Okay, I think we're... What's that? It goes without saying that you only only take mail from your own box. Place into any, but only remove from your own. Theft will be dealt with accordingly, and should be so too. Okay, so as you can see, my mailbox is now empty. The light has gone off. If I open this up and put something in, the light goes on, and the wall would come back. My mailbox is now empty, so if we go and look outside, 
we should now see my piece of wall which is that one there has disappeared so that's how I know that there's going to be mail for me or not and this is a really nice build all right um ah powered by a uh, wind turbine excellent excellent renewable energy for the wind so that's that's mods building and what else do we have here I don't think there's really been a huge amount of building going on at least nothing that I want to show you guys just yet uh, this incredible castle seems to be going on slowly apace I don't think the sand castle has been worked on in a very long time which is a shame because I love the concept uh, what else um, oh yes Mike's I think this is Mike's anyway uh, Mike, one of the uh, the members of Team Tuxedo, um, built this down here on the first day the server started and didn't do anything for a while. But when I came back, I found this had all been done out and lined with nice polished stone. And yes, vertigo inducing glass floors. Wonderful stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, he's here. Uh, Basically, he got his own path down to a ravine down there, which I won't bother going down to now. But uh, uh, yeah, that's done. And he's got a nice sense of design, has Mike. I think I quite like this. Wonder what he's going to do there. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, has anything else changed? As you may or may not have noticed, actually, the. Uh, Animals are all gone. They've uh, they've been moved down underground somewhere. I can't remember exactly where, which doesn't matter because I've just found it. So all the kind of sheep you can eat are now there, and I'm presuming Drazir is now looking after them. So let's do a build, shall we? As I said, this is um, one of the last three things I want to do because I want to actually get out of. Uh, the town here and actually go off and build something speak of the devil hello Drazir um, greetings um, alright so this is the location this is going to be where um, clucking good chicken is not enough for a full restaurant so I think what I will do here is I will just make a um, let's just call it a van shall we so Got a few bits and pieces floating around here. Some quartz, hopefully enough, and some wood. I think I've got most of what I want here. So let's start building, shall we? Um, first things first, let's get ourselves some spruce, and I want some stairs like that. And I also want some slabs, so let's get us out some more spruce wood. And we'll make some slabs. I think that's more, much more than I want, so there we go, that'll do. At least this with some logs. And the first thing I want to do is... Right, okay, the first thing I want to do is deal with a particularly thorny problem in this game, which is... Wheels. It's very very hard to make an authentic looking wheel because there's no curves but I'm hoping this will actually do the trick we'll see like that like that and then like that and like that does that that looks vaguely wheel like not fantastically so but it looks vaguely wheel like okay so Where's that quartz? Need some of that. So let's get that in the bar. Pop my user manual away. I shall save that with my other paperwork. So one, two, three. Yeah, that looks about right. And we'll do the same here. So put a block down like that. Must repair my pickaxe. Must remember to repair my pickaxe. So uh, there, 
and there and we do really need to repeat this over here as well so let's do that straight away so a bit of wheel bit of a wheel they look a bit ridiculously large these wheels but I think they will do two three I think we're gonna want one there but let's take that down for now and let's make another wheel here so bit bit get rid of bit bit okay and make some stairs up here so Maybe the back of the vehicle here, so we'll put some quartz in there and we'll put some stairs up to it. Like that. And we're going to want a bit more quartz in here. There, 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 and there, and there, and there, because that will now look, look nice and white through there and that's going to be the flooring I want some slabs to get those out as well because why should I use expensive quartz in the middle where nobody can see when well, I can use cheap spruce instead so also means I don't have to worry about putting some torches inside to light this particular area up uh, yeah kill two birds with one stone uh, okay so Oh, don't want one there. Okay, don't want one there. I want like that, like that. Four there. So four there. And four there. And four there. Okay, and this is going to be my counter. So I want some slabs here and I'm going to want slabs across the top here and this is going to be where the food is dispensed so what I need at this point is a chest so let's grab a chest quickly and we'll pop that in so the chest goes here like that and what we'll be doing is we will be feeding the chicken into there. So actually, let's do that at this point as well. So want um, one more hopper, I think. So let's make another chest. Should stop using spruce. Uh, okay, so we'll pop that there and we'll wrap that in iron to make a hopper. There we go, two hoppers. All right, and while we're at it, let's make ourselves a furnace. Yeah, I know we've got another one there outside here. Right. Oh, I must have taken it down. Okay. Uh, right, so the hoppers go one feeding into the back of the chest, one feeding into the hopper, and the furnace goes there. And we can block this up later on. So. When I want to fill the chest up here, all I need to do is come here, look at the furnace, stick the stuff in, and away it goes. When things are cooked, they go into here, they go through the... Oh, I'll show you later on. All right. So that's that. Um, right, spruce wood. Okay, so there, 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 there. There, I don't need that to be quartz. And I think we're actually getting close to being done here, to be honest with you. Uh, it's like that, like that, like that. And we've run out of spruce. Would you believe it? Okay, well, let's go and grab this one. Oh, my torch need repairing. Like I said, I've been doing a lot of resource gathering over the last couple of weeks, and it kind of shows. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, gotcha. Hee hee, all right. Okay, so let's get that 
turned into logs because we don't um, the planks rather because we don't need logs and I can finish that off there this is the uh, the back of the truck so I think we're going to put some lights on later on and some of the lights are going to be red some of them are going to be white okay so there's those planks there's those planks let's put a roof on this like this because these are half slabs on the bottom of the square I'm never going to need to light this which adds a bit of uh, realism because let's face it how how many uh, how many things have how many things have uh, flaming torches on top of them I ask you yes not that many so that's a modicum of authenticity here right there we go okay so I think this is starting to come together actually um, just needs a bit around the sides and perhaps a bit more decoration let's see what we can do here so like that like that and like that let's see what that looks like and is that a nice frame um how if i seem to have fallen into the water <laughs> come on let me out let me out there we go no we're out. okay uh, yeah. No, um, actually, I don't like that. I think uh, let's get rid of that. Let's see if we can think of something else to put there. Um, actually, let's try that in quartz. That might look a bit better. So I'm going to need a few stairs. So let's grab ourselves a few stairs. I would have loved to have done a lot of this in iron because it would have looked more like a real thing. But you can't make iron stairs, unfortunately. At least not without mods. And he's just left the game. Mm. Better, but still missing something. Let's try oh run out of stairs okay let's make a couple more stairs well four more stairs to be precise mm, let's plant that spruce tree as well because it's only fair I cut a spruce tree down I should plant another one that way we have sustainable forestry so like, like that no oh dear let's try that again Right, let's try that again. One like that, one like that, one like that, one like that. Oh, okay, it's looking a bit better. It's a bit more rounded. I'm liking that a bit more. Um, this is going to be the front, so we'll put some white lights at the front. I'll go and get some redstone in a minute, and I'll put some red lights at the back. And and I think what we'll do here is alright I seem to be only have one piece of wool here but that'll do for a start let's get let's get a menu up now this could take a second this could take all night it depends on how generous Minecraft is feeling wrong size I want a four I want a four give me a four like that. Um, spiders. No, don't like spiders there. Come on. Oh, come on. Don't give me spiders all the time. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. And I think I'll put one over the other side here. And I had a sign earlier. Yeah, okay. So, um, well, come to... Fucking good uh, chicken. Okay, so that's that done. And 
Let's make a couple more signs actually while we're at it. Um, uh, wood, there we go, I've got wood. We were, yes, I know. So, like that, like that. Reminds me, I want to make some. <laughs> I want to make some of those, and I want some of those as well because I actually wanted to put some glass here I seem to remember so let's take those out see what that looks like as glass ah Don't like the bit at the top there, so let's get rid of that, and we'll just put the wood back in. But it looks like it's got a little window you can see out of there at the front. That's good. We got the serving area in the middle there. Um, I wanted some trap doors here, which I want to put there, just so you know people can get in if they want. But uh, it's not just you can walk straight in. That's good. Hello, you. Hello. Oh, you give me an idea now. I've killed you. I hope another one turns up fairly soon because I've got an idea. Right. Okay, prices. Prices. Um, oh, what should we have here? Right, the cost of this for me is coal. So I think I'm going to ask for coal one coal each and let's think okay so 64 is going to cost me eight coal to cook so let's give ourselves a pocket pocket bah, profit margin 10 coal for 64 so if you only want one chicken, I'm going to make a nice profit out of it. If you want a stack of chicken, you can. I will make a little profit out of it, and that's good. And firm inform Simon if empty, and I'll come along and fill it back up again. There we go, right. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself a couple of little bits of wood. So we put some pictures up there. I need a couple of bits of redstone. So let's go and grab that stuff quickly. And then I think we're actually almost done. And if you can hear that go off the background, it looks like uh, um, it seems to be a WhatsApp conversation going on. And seeing there's only two people who know my WhatsApp number, well, they always seem to do this, so I'm not going to complain too loudly. Right, uh, here we go, back up here. Starting to get these chests organised. Uh, um, a lot of them are still empty or a complete mess. These ones I know are still complete messes. What do I want? I want one of those. No, I don't. I want one of those for something I have in mind. Um, what else do I want? Uh, okay, yes, I wanted some wool if I have some. I have some. And. Cannot for the life of me. Can, life of me remember what I came for. Redstone, that's it. Okay, so we'll grab um, just a couple of bits of redstone because all I want to do is make a couple of torches. There we go. That's the job. Looks like they're setting themselves free up there. Run free, my pretties. Run free. Right. Yes, okay. I said there was three things I wanted to do before I move out. There's four things, but... Uh, one of them you guys won't get to see until the person I've done it to notices. Let's just say that. 
Okay, so first things first, let's put some red lights on the back here. So like that, like that. Okay, and yeah, reverse lights. And I'm gonna want some sticks. Uh, okay, like that. And let's make ourselves a couple more picture frames. Oh. Okay, let's make ourselves one more picture frame. Let's make ourselves a couple more sticks. And make ourselves a second picture frame. Or two, actually. Let's make two. If I can make them, I will use them. Right. All right, so let's put a couple little pictures up here. Now, I actually want a couple of little pictures as opposed to one two-sized one. So... <laughs> okay, they're fighting me. They are f definitely fighting me tonight, the paintings. But... Seeing as I... Um... Just one sec. Golden apples. Right. So we have one now. Tell the one. No. Tell the one. Yes. Uh huh. And ah, there you are. I started to think that other picture was making a bid for freedom, but uh... um. Right, so that's that there. Now all I need to do, and I should have grabbed some while I was away, is just get some stock in here, and I think we are done. So I'm going to cut out here and come back when I've got some goods to put in there, and we can see this in action. Be right back. Right, here we are back. Okay, I've got the chicken cooking. I've got some more. I'm going to chuck in when those are all cooked through, get myself some stock up. And you can see here, come around to the front, the chicken is turning up in this chest here. So people can come and buy it and leave their payments of coal in that chest. So there we have it. Clucking good chicken. little bit plain by my building standards but I actually quite like that I think um, perhaps should have put in a quartz roof but I can come back and do that later on I think but uh, all in all it looks vaguely sort of caravanish which is what I wanted and got a nice simple little cooker inside here and now what I think I need is a shopkeeper and I think I'll have a hunt round for one, and if I do find one, I shall record me employing that shopkeeper and putting him in there. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, this place could use a shopkeeper as well. I might have to think about it here. No, nope, nobody's bought anything in the last few days. I've had a, quite a few big sales, so I've got no complaints. And they've got me lots and lots of sand, which I'm going to need for an upcoming big build. So, right, watch this space for that. Oh, oh. This has been built around a little bit. I quite like this. This looks good. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, I was going to say uh, a slightly short episode, but I noticed we've gone on for about 40 minutes. So, I will say that I am Simon Parsons, this is um, Arcadia on the Team Tuxedo server. Thank you, and good night.